Boy Season 4 Episode 3 Ending Explained, Where Homelander Is Going. Warning, this video contains spoilers for The Boy Season 4 Episodes 1 to 3. The Boy Season 4 debuted on Prime Video with 3 episodes and the ending of Episode 3 sets the stage for further exploration of Homelander's, Antony Star, past. Homelander has a rough time and will keep the red flag flying here as he discovers there's a traitor at bot and catches Ryan, Cameron Crovity, sneaking out to visit Butcher, Carl Urban. The latter hits him particularly hard dredging up his deep-seated insecurities. His anger leads him to lash out at Ryan but it also pushes him to reflect on his own humanity. Looking in the mirror Homelander faces the fractured parts of his psyche which reveal just how human the Seven's leader is. He mostly condemns himself for this wishing to be a beacon of strength rather than a vulnerable person. While part of him considers fixing things with Ryan the others accuse him of being weak for desiring love. Homelander decides he must eliminate his vulnerabilities by going back to the start. This may leave viewers wondering where he's headed. Fortunately his flashbacks at the end of episode 3 offer a clue. The Amazon superhero series The Boys is based on a comic book series of the same name. Some things were changed comparing the comic book versus show. Homelander's reflections tell him to go back to the beginning in The Boys season 4 episode 3 and the episode's ending teases the soup going home. This may confuse viewers as Va Tower is Homelander's residence and it has been since the Amazon series started. However Homelander's fight with Ryan brings up baggage from his own childhood. When his reflections speak of home they're talking about the Vought Lab Homelander was created in. The soup's flashbacks to a cold sterile environment confirm as much. When his reflections speak of home they're talking about the Vought Lab Homelander was created in. With that in mind the ending of The Boy Season 4 Episode 3 sets the stage for Homelander to return to his place of origin in Episode 4. It's unclear what his goal in going there is but he believes it's the best way to rid himself of his humanity. Perhaps facing his parentage and upbringing will help him break the bond he feels with Ryan. Homelander's desire to have a relationship with his son stems from his lack of a father. It also comes from his need for love which was denied when he was growing up. As Homelander decides to return home in The Boy Season 4 Episode 3 he has several flashbacks to his time in Vought's lab. One shows an ominous red door while others depict tools like scalpels and torches. There's also a brief shot of a woman though there's no clarification of who she is. Viewers can assume she played a prominent role in Homelander's upbringing and he could confront her about it when he returns. The other shots suggest Homelander was experimented on as a child. The images of the lab are cold and sterile highlighting the lack of love and warmth he felt growing up. His flashbacks in episode 3 and promise to return to Vought's lab suggest. The boys will take a more direct approach to exploring his childhood in season 4. The boys will expand on this further in future episodes but those familiar with the comics already know the dark truth of how Homelander was experimented on growing up. The Amazon series has alluded to this past as well but it's mostly done so through his behavior in the present. His flashbacks in episode 3 and promise to return to Vought's lab suggest the boys will take a more direct approach to exploring his origin story. In doing so season 4 can finally answer major questions about the soup. The Boy Season 3 Episode 4 begins to answer key questions about Homelander's past and his return to Vought's lab will continue this deep dive into his childhood. After The Boy's first three seasons it's no secret that Homelander grew up without love and affection. This directly feeds into his consistent need for praise and it explains much of his sociopathic behavior. But while viewers are able to infer things about Homelander's past in The Boy Seasons 1 to 3 Season 4 can finally shed light on the boy named John and how he became the deadly soup leading the Seven. As Homelander returns to the place he was created viewers can learn all the details about how the soup came to exist. The boys alludes to the fact that Homelander is the strongest superhuman and therefore special but now the series can offer further explanations about what makes him so different. The series can also dig into his past relationships and how they impact his present ones. While Homelander is a villain in The Boys he's one with psychological issues connected to his childhood. By returning to it viewers can unpack why. 
This could also be an opportunity for the boys to explore Vought's role in what Homelander has become. Gen V makes it clearer than ever that Vought is just as much a villain as Homelander perhaps more so given that the company created him. Vought uses soups to do its bidding and it's largely responsible for what they've become. It also destroys the lives of innocent people in its attempts to make money and claim power. Its part in Homelander's backstory may further drive this message home. Homelander is revisiting the Vought lab from his childhood because he wants to erase the remaining pieces of his humanity. The soup struggles with feeling vulnerable throughout the boys and that's become increasingly noticeable in seasons 3 and 4. Soldier Boy's rejection of his son seems to have hit Homelander hard and he's clearly desperate to have a relationship with Ryan even if he doesn't know how to. Ryan's interest in Butcher makes Homelander feel rejected and this pushes him over the edge. Homelander is revisiting the Vought lab from his childhood because he wants to erase the remaining pieces of his humanity. Because of his sensitivity to rejection Homelander wants to rid himself of his feelings of inadequacy and need for love. He's realized how his past factors into these things and he believes that confronting it will solve the problem. Knowing Homelander his efforts to face his upbringing won't be healthy and his perceived weaknesses will probably remain. Only time will tell how Homelander grapples with his origin in The Boys Season 4. But whatever happens in the coming episodes viewers are sure to learn more about him and Vought. The Boys is a superhero slash dark comedy satire series created by Eric Kripke based on the comic series of the same name. Set in a what-if world that reveres superheroes as celebrities and gods who experience minimal repercussions for their actions. However one group of vigilantes headed by a vengeance-obsessed man named Billy Butcher will fight back against these supercharged heroes to expose them for what they are. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. As bad as it is to see the boys go after season 5 the superhero series will avoid a hugely divisive decision that Supernatural famously made. Inside Out 2's Lewis Black and Paul Walter Hauser discuss the catharsis of playing anger playing against type for embarrassment and more. Suzuki Uchiha is the quintessential ninja genius in Naruto and with the latest spin-off manga fans can enjoy him in much greater focus. Dave Bautista has become a box office superstar but after leaving two major franchises his new movie could be the perfect replacement. The ending of Brit Girton Season 3 Part 2 ignites a massive fan reaction on social media with a tease of Season 4's possible central couple. Apple TV Plus releases the first trailer for The Instigators a crime thriller from director Doug Lyman starring Matt Damon and Casey Affleck. Interviews Calvin Lee reader Johnny Whitworth and Dana Name wrote about the A-Frame's complex characters and scientific theories. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts.